about it all morning long. A divided house. We're just hours away from a historic fourth round of voting to choose the next Speaker of the House. Kevin McCarthy falling short on those votes three times on Tuesday, becoming the first nominee in a century to not win with his party in the majority. A live look at Capitol Hill this morning. The work of Congress is on hold without a leader. McCarthy needs 218 votes to win the speakership. He fell short by 16 votes in round three. 20 Republicans giving their votes to Representative Jim Jordan. For more on the uh, fractures in the political party, uh, let's go to Joe Khalil. He's live at the Capitol. Joe. Hey, good morning, Adrian. So as you laid out, we woke up this morning without a speaker, which effectively means that we woke up without a functioning Congress. And we haven't been able to say that in a hundred years, but here we are. The House of Representatives literally cannot be sworn in until they get this sorted out. So the House is going to pick up at noon today where they left off yesterday. And for Kevin McCarthy, uh, whose bid for speakership at one point really seemed inevitable, not so long ago, honestly, now seems to be slipping away after those three consecutive votes where he failed to get the necessary 218 members to support him to become speaker. You've got this group of 20 Republicans that voted against him. Look, some of them, it is personal. They don't like McCarthy. They say that they don't trust McCarthy. For others, they say that they have this list of demands that he make rules changes that he is not making. Uh, many of them are pretty high, uh, pretty steep. Some are things like uh, putting uh, limits on how often members can run for Congress. Others are making it easier to dismiss a Speaker of the House with just one person bringing that up for a vote. So a lot of these things they're demanding. I'm talking to some of my sources who are allies of Kevin McCarthy, and they are telling me they're frustrated, frankly, with this group because they say this group making these demands, it, they're not exactly clear about what they want or what it would take uh, for them to support Kevin McCarthy. And just a little while ago, I spoke with Congressman Byron Donalds. Uh, this is a, somebody who actually voted for McCarthy and then changed his vote to Jim Jordan about this group and their demands. And here's what he told us. Well, that part I don't want to get into right now. Obviously, there may be things that, that can be had or can be negotiated or whatever the case might be. I think for all the members, the key thing is, is that this is Washington. We kind of go through this from time to time. Uh, it's unfortunate we're doing it here, but look, we're going to hammer this stuff out. We're going to get a speaker, and then we're going to move on and do our business. Not everybody is so certain of that as, as Byron Donald says. I should mention, for McCarthy's part, he and his allies have said they're vowing to continue uh, to push forward no matter how many votes it takes. But again, someone is going to have to blink here. you got two sides that seem immovable. The ones who oppose him say they'll never support him. And McCarthy, who says no matter how many ballots he's moving forward, something is going to have to change there, guys. All right, Joe, our thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.